Hi everyone, um, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a card process using Not Too Shabby Bouquet of Happiness. So I stamped this floral image onto um, Arteza 110 pound paper with gold, emboss gold embossing powder, Ranger, and um, it didn't get a little area on my paper so that's why I stamped two more flowers so that I can cover up one of that I mean cover that area so I'm using my Inktense um, Derwent watercolor pencils and I was going for yellow yellow shades and I end up using some pink highlights so um, I'm just using my water brush and and then here it is almost done and then I will be fussy cutting it out so I probably added a few layers to my um, flowers here until I was satisfied um, it took me I don't know I was off and on throughout the day so I can't tell you how long it took me but um, I just wanted to show you my process um, I, I've been liking florals a lot um, and I have some friends who do a nice job that get me wanting to buy some of these flower stamps a long time ago I had no flower stamps so um, now I'm getting a little collection here and I know some people don't like to use them because they feel like they're for sympathy cards but um, I probably used to feel like that too but not anymore they have some beautiful sentiments especially for friends or encouragement okay still coloring here <laughs> I realized I should have sped it up a little bit faster um, so you get to see my <laughs> pretty much my real time of coloring I mean I wish I was this fast so actually I was really really slow and then I cut out those little um, rose buds so I'm just looking for like a gray a light gray background I'm using Ulta New watercolor paints and just a regular brush a bigger brush that I had so I probably do like three layers of gray still on the same Arteza paper and then I'm using my heat tool to dry it and then I wanted some yellow flicks of paint and I realized that it didn't show up because it wasn't enough water so um, it's very subtle um, at first but you can see it at the end so then I cut it, uh, my panel out with the double stitched rectangle from Gina Marie Designs and then just gluing it on there um, because it's 110 pound it was hard to get it to glue down and sorry my table is moving back and forth hope I don't make you sick <laughs> um, it wasn't on properly and uh, I just kept going with it <laughs> didn't realize it was this it moved this much I'm sorry Okay, so I stamped and heat, heat embossed the sentiment with um, Brutus Monroe, um, I think it's like alabaster white. I'll have it in the details onto some gray, um, it's like 65 pound cardstock and I added it with foam tape. I cut it out with my paper trimmer, trimmer uh, banner. So 
we would need more glue. <laughs> um, so, okay, and then I added that little piece, which I think went great. And then because I went outside the lines, I'm using my white Signo gel pen, white gel pen. And then I decided to add that other one. And then I added some yellow gloss drops that I'll have listed in the description. Hope you like my card. Thank you for stopping by and thank you for subscribing. See you soon.